this video is really just a bit of fun. It's going to show you how to very briefly do the five Tibetan rites. Now these are yoga based moves and if you want to look at yoga then go to a yoga instructor because it's, that's not me. I just want to show you these moves because they're quite good fun. They're a basic full body resistance exercise plan and they've just got a great history. So if you look up Peter Kelder and the five Tibetan rites, you get the most amazing story about a guy who, who spoke to Tibetan monks and found a way to, to basically live forever. And it was these five exercises. This was a, an exercise session that Bruce Forsyth apparently did every day and it kept him very spry for a lot of years. So it's worth having a bit of fun with, give it a go. Don't do anything that causes pain. So based on yoga moves, the first one that we're going to do is spinning. Now you spin clockwise, so think of yourself as the number 12 in front of you and you're moving towards the three. We're going to do three of each of these, but ultimately you would expect to do 21 of each of them. So here we go. Three, two, one. And you can expect to feel a little dizzy here. That would be quite normal. The next one that you're going to do is a double leg lift. So I'm going to tilt the camera downwards so it's facing down towards the floor so you can see this more effectively. And I'll come down here. So the double leg lift, you're on your back on the floor. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lift your legs up. I'm not pushing with my hands here. And we're going to do three of these. That's it, so the double leg lift three now of a move that in yoga is called camel pose. You bring your hands onto the backs of the thighs here and you reach back behind. Come back up and reach back behind. And we'll do one more here. Reaching all the way back. And now coming into what's well, a little bit like a reverse plank, but almost a modified version of it. The hands come down on the floor and you push your knees above your ankles. Now, in the, in the original recommendations, they recommend that you fling your head back here. But I think that's quite a crank on the neck, so I might recommend that you just keep looking forward for this one. The final exercise that you're going to do here is downward and upward dog. So ones that you see quite often in Pilates classes, in yoga classes, sorry. So you're going to come into your upward facing dog. Inhale here and into downward facing dog and we'll do two more. And the last one. So that's a fun way to, to just get a bit of stretch and a bit of movement into your day. I would recommend starting off with three and they recommend that you build up by two every day but that was based on, on um, thousands of year old uh, teachings so I think that we should maybe just build up by one every day and then be prepared to stick at about five and then when you're ready build up a little bit more up to 21 so take it easy do what's right for you and don't do anything that causes you pain but have fun bye